chaos break and we're probably at the final stretch now so let's do what we can do we'll probably beat the game within the next hour all right now I am going to go check up on my favorite friends, the ones who I've talked to very awkwardly in a few awkward cutscenes here and there. This isn't here. We have to be quick. Okay, I know where we're going. It's the only other level 5 door we've stumbled across, so it's pretty obvious what it is you want to go to. No distractions, I guess. Straight over to the final area. No worries, I'll roll in fucking stampedes as well. Now, personal opinion, my memory of the game tells me that this is my favorite part of the game. I think the best part of the game is the end, which, you know, is what it is. Just take care of that in case it becomes a nuisance later. Now, <clears throat> we need to go all the way to the bottom floor. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. B5, which means that I'll be seeing it for a second. Now, this isn't some amazing horror game. It is what it is. It's a B horror game back from the 90s. Back when the Resident Evil clones were strong in the genre of gaming. Genre of gaming, but gaming in general, but the genre of horror. All the Resident Evil clones everywhere. It's not quite a Resident Evil clone, it's got some big differences to how the game works. First of all, the game isn't actually distinctively tank controls. I'm sure you might be able to notice from me going crazy like that. I'm going to save right here, though. But it certainly is in that same sort of vein and inspired by it. And it's a B game through and through. There's some enjoyable elements, some elements are a bit more uh, and some amusing dialogues at the very least. But the game's not particularly scary, and this last part isn't particularly scary either, but I do think it... Maybe it's just the colors and the fact that there's a bigger threat in this next area. Uh, it's just my favorite part of the game, from my memory of playing Mitsuki's campaign. Let's see how it rolls in this guy's campaign. It's not bad for a game's best part to be at the end, though. I mean, it makes sense then, because then there's something that you want to work towards. Sure is foggy around here. Hmm. Now a reminder, this thing is a one to kill. If it grabs you, that was not a one to kill because of how that worked. I'm actually gonna let him kill me, maybe. I'll try. I'm not gonna heal, I decided. But this thing can grab you, and he can kill you in one hit pretty easily. I forget if he's supposed to attack him. I think this is the point where we have to now kill him. something about this fight. This is a good fight. How do I change it there? Gas search, launcher spark. It's not what I actually want. How do I switch these options? I think I want to equip this. AP guard can shoot an AP sample. We use it? Sure. There we go. Not yet, okay, I'll die. But I remembered what I needed to do. You can hit him other ways, but the best way to kill him is by using the AP there. 
Because, I mean, you haven't been able to kill him to this point, but now you've met when you have the AP, and the AP is your superpower weapon thing that does a lot of damage to the viruses. I think that was the way you had to eliminate him. Just remember right now, because remember I got stuck here last time. Bright side is I wanted to redo it anyways, because I got hit by him. He's not the one that killed him. He's one that killed the other encounters. Maybe he wasn't one that killed here, but, you know, it is the one it is. So I think I need to equip the AP and try and take him down with that. Okay. Equip the AP cartridge. Let's all see what we can do. Indeed. the AP once you've injected yourself with it. Okay, AP. There you go. It's right there. It's a sub-cartridge. Good parasite. Okay. I think we beat him. Tricky, I know, right? We're not done yet here, though. Let me first go here. Equip more of that. Inside here, there's a few more things, like this monster right here, which I'm going to try to avoid. It's one of those monsters. AP cartridge, another one, because I do need those, actually. Oh, fuck! Now I want to run right into. Drink acquired. Of course. Let me get out of here, please, sir. Dear sir. I'm just booking now. I don't need to fight him. No reason for me to. I recall those monsters are kind of tricky, not really worth the time. They will do a lot of damage if you let them get close. I'm gonna take a drink of this good old soda I picked up. Put that back here with that. And use drink. Yep. Always to go through. Next. An elevator going down. I'm not sure how fantastically terrible this could go. Do you notice that they're starting to fuel me up on healing items and such right now? I think you might be noticing that they seem to be fueling me up for some reason. Almost like they're preparing me for something. I wonder what that could be. Can't track with that. How about you? Going down? Not yet. Is this a door? That's not a door. Okay, now I'm going down. Yeah. What well, might be at the bottom of this pit? be a thousand and one wonders, but it's just another room that's kind of pretty identical to the room we just saw. Alright, what's inside this body? If your answer was a data disk, you'd be correct. Now, more of those bullets to shoot out as much as we want. Good is good. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, which I might not, yep, if I do remember this, this should be interesting. Yep. Why 
would he be dead? Now, this is actually near the final location of the game. The final boss is nearby and all that, so we're gonna do our magic. Let's first collect all we can collect from all the other parts that are not all the data disk, everything, the big old healing item. Okay. Data disk set. Before I save my game fully, I mean, I'll save, but there's some more I want to do here first. Mail. Check. It looks like there's an anomaly in the growth genes. We are dealing with it urgently. Please hang on a bit longer. Please. Dow, please come back with me. Recent conditions clearly show abnormal. I know you are a responsible person, but you'll get killed by Fruxus. Think it over. I'll be waiting for your reply. Same result, parasitic in ent or antigens, activity against metals weaker than data from HQ. Also, the decretment due to the CO2 has been confined at 5% higher than sterile culture condition. Yes. I understand the AP issue. Give me about three days. I will continue to monitor here as well, but please inform us immediately if the culture condition changes. We have one of these data things to do. Again, I don't really understand these. But hey, I'll do it. I just can't do it until I get it right. Maybe it wants to be a big number, maybe it wants to be a small number, maybe it wants to be a very precise number or region. There we go, solved it somehow. Good is good. Now save there, yes. Left right. All part of the process. Now I will come back to the save station and save in just a moment, but there's a little bit more I want to do before I head over to the final boss region. I think the final boss door is that door right there, so I'm going to run over here first. There's a few things I want to do first. First of all, open this up. You still have things to do. You are correct. Let me go over here. Between 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock this is open, which means this is actually one of the few storage areas that are open at this point in time in the game. AP cartridge acquired, of course. For some reason, they thought this game was going to be a lot longer than it actually turned out to be, because those times were fucking ridiculous. This is the only non-ridiculous time in the game. The other one's like, wait 18 hours. And they're like, no, this game is not an 18 hour long game. Gives you some additional AP cartridges, but yeah, yeah. Eh? Let me go over that way. Pip, pip. I'll save my game one more time, and then we'll gear ourselves up. Save right there. Fox database. Yes, I would like to save. I know I just did, but yeah, yeah. There you go. Let's get ready for the finale stuff. It starts, of course. It won't budge. Looks like it's broken. I figured about as much. Now, this is the final boss for my Yuki, but I hear there's a, another phase to the final boss for this guy. So. Easy with the dodge command, I know. Oh, fuck, I got hit there though. They do a lot of damage though if you let them. Such as right then. Okay. Item, use it. Yep. Oh, 
Rolling out of the way. Fucking A. Let me get up. If they get on top of you, they'll start uh, basically rapidly raging at you unless Chris can do a lot of things like this right there. Thankfully, I have a lot of homing rockets that makes this pretty simple as long as they hit their target. There we go, we beat it. Simple, right? Homing rockets make that really easy. what time this is. It's time to get the fuck out of here. Escape time. It's every horror game. Not every horror game. A lot of old horror games have them. A lot of other games have them as well, actually. Sci-fi games are pretty popular with this. I don't remember how tight this time is. If I'll be completely honest. I'm just going to sort of roll. Those things are huge. You see how big those were? I can take this shortcut to get out of here, though. Make sure there's nothing else through here. This may or may not be a familiar location to you. Oh, this is actually an elevator. Go up to B2. The grand escape continues. I should probably save time because I'm not sure if this boss is going to be part of the time limit or not. I remember they gave me more than enough time for the other character, though. Ow. Exactly what I want to roll right into. Fuck. Fuck. Dude. Just get me out of here. There we go. This is, might be a bit of a familiar area. Things are going to hell, basically. That's how the whole facility has also been layered with those things. So fantastic, right? Now, I don't actually remember quite where the heliport is, but I got a pretty good idea. I've got a pretty decent idea of where the heliport is. From memory, kind of. Kind of. No. It is what it is. I think it's the one area that just didn't lead to anything previously for me. And cue the cliche time limit surely after final boss. It's what we always do. I actually do not mind sequences like this. I typically enjoy them. Though I do kind of wish there was some amazing final, you know, bullet bases, self destructing song playing. Those are usually pretty cool with these. It's usually my favorite part about them. That and sometimes the tension. But I think this one, my memory of it was that it was pretty forgiving, but maybe there's a boss I added onto this. Yep. Next up on the to-do charts, we're all over this way. More hopping monsters decide to hop over like they've never hopped before. Pretty solidly making our way out of this fortress. Now, it could be one of two areas that's the escape. I'm pretty sure it's this one. <laughs> Looks like we're just rolling and hopping together. I'd say they were cliche by the time this game released. This game's not like the oldest horror game out there. Resident Evil was already out and popularized and all that, and this definitely takes inspiration from Resident Evil, and a lot of old school horror games have it. Yeah, this is the heliport, I was right. Hip hip. There you go! See? Now, this is actually, I think what I just did right there is the end of the game from my Yuki. I think it's the ending there. Oh, yeah, yeah.
But we're not done for Rick. Rick never catches a break. Flux's database. Mission reports. Time, enemy 62%. Wait, what? We need to get a higher ranking. Maybe it was like, Ryan, kill more enemies, because that'll give you an E rank, apparently. Okay. I'll do the only thing I can do at this point. I'll just kill some enemies. Maybe that was bad enemies because I was at an E rank because apparently I didn't kill enough enemies because the game was like, Hey Ryan, kill more enemies. Hey Ryan, kill more enemies. Let's go here and there. Well, it's okay. This boss is pretty simple. I'll kill the enemies on the way back to the chop. Might have needed to kill the boss with AP cartridges. Maybe. Let's find out. Done all I can do. I've already seen this, so I'm gonna skip through. Roger, Captain. Now I'm gonna try and kill some more enemies on the way there, see if that somehow helps this overall ranking. But yeah, I, I'll also re-equip these. Yeah, these are a little bit too big for me just to leave them as be like that. Kill all the enemies you see on the way back downtown. If I knew number of enemies killed made a difference, I might have gone out of my way to kill more, but I forgot this game even had a ranking system, let alone that maybe it affected that ending we just got. Going up, sure. Da, 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 da. Next up, go up there. Fuck that thing right there. Go oh, for Before those things kick my ass fully and wholly. Well, that worked out. Maybe. I got some time. I can go around the facility and kill some sons of bitch monsters. Fuck! <laughs> I've actually never noticed a ton detail there, but that's good to know. Of course, these monsters are not my favorite. Uh -huh. 
Drink another soda. Now I'm gonna do something a bit more with my time there. I think a lot of the enemies I let live, I let live over here. So I'm gonna do what I can with the enemies over here quickly. The time limit's not super crucial, I'm sure you saw, so yeah. I you can get there pretty simply. That time for me to reload. Now that I have that much ammo or time to deal with too much of this, I'll take care of those and move over this way. <clears throat> is to what it is. All the doors sort of pass through. But hey, I've been killing more enemies, and I'll kill more enemies on my way back as well. All the enemies I see. Best as I can. Considering my circumstance. Let's go. <laughs> Work like a charm there. My only goal is to get out of here in time. I also want to see how different my enemy percentage ends just up doing like this. All right. From all of this, off to the top, we still have enough time to make it certainly. <laughs> Exit stage left. Okay, no monsters over there, I'm just wasting my time looking there. Roll out this way. God fucking damn. We're running a little bit low on time, so let's go that way. There's also a robot over here earlier. Is the robot still there or is it it's gone? I'll get there in time, it's just gonna be a little bit of a close race. <laughs> See if this can make any sort of difference to our rank in there. First off there, and there you go. Close, but we made it. Let's see if this helped at all with increasing their ra uh, ending rank, and if not, then what, what can you do?
I got a happier ending with my UQ when I was doing her and trying to kill everything. Well, I raised up my 68 to 72 percent. I collected 98 percent of the disc. Is that time? Is two hours bad? The game really wants you to push for time. I, I don't know why that's considered an E ranking. I'm two percent from having every disc in the game. I got 98 percent of the disc. I've killed 72% of the enemies. I beat the game in less than two and a half hours, and that's a fucking E ranking, apparently. I don't, I don't know what this game judges its ranking based off of. Whatever the case. <clears throat> Still, I like the game. I was kind of hoping the fact that I got better ending than that. I got better ending with my Yuki, I can say that much. That's what you get for saying a Chinook for two people, I guess. I guess, I guess, I guess. Still, I still like Chaos Break. That was Chaos Break. Maybe at some point I'll see if I can remind myself that I need to get more than E ranking to do maybe do something. Until next time though, catch you guys next time.